we are about to enter a place, a place not far from where you live, where life is about getting and honor is as seen as the size of your wallet. Watch the characters interact and learn. Welcome to the Chapel's Home. Audience, are you ready for the craziest game show on TV? Where everyday contestants could walk away with thousands in prizes, 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 or with absolutely nothing. With me, your faithful announcer, Walter Volume, and <laughs> your smiling host, Joe Smiley. It's time to ask yourself, well, what's it worth to you? Hello, welcome to our studio audience and all of you watching at home. I'm Joe Smiley. Yay! We are here today to see if our contestants will walk away with prizes beyond belief or walk away with absolutely nothing. They could leave in resounding praise or in complete sh shame as hopeless losers. Here are our two contestants. The contestant who gives the greatest value to the item will take it home. Are you ready to begin? Walter, please tell us about item number one. Certainly, Joe. Our first item is a brand new car. A 2020 Dodge Viper in a cherry red complete with a special jet engine propulsion engine that allows for a top speed of over 350 miles. How can the cops catch you if they can't see you? It is also equipped with platinum rims that oscillate in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. A stereo including a 100 CD disc changer and three 15 inch subs, a 42 inch plasma TV in the back seat, and on star. A truly amazing prize. Contestant number one, what's it worth to you? I can't believe it. This car is my dream. Everyone will be watching me as I drive. Look at me and my awesome car. I will give $40,000 and my firstborn child for this piece of machinery. And your firstborn child, what a priceless gift. That's a big, big to talk contestant number two. What's it worth to you? Well, I don't think such a fast car is very safe. And I want to endanger the lives of others. I don't want to. And jet propulsion engines aren't very good for the environment. So I bid zero dollars on this item. Don't you think this car is cool? It's a beast of a car. No. That's not worth anything to you because it's not safe? Right, I don't want to harm others. So you are putting the safety of others above your own happiness and popularity? That's crazy! <laughs> Contestant number one, the car is yours. Walter, the next item, please. Must have for every true and fulfilled and important individual. Located a hundred miles north of the equator, it is your own private island. Perfect for the quick weekend getaways, it comes to complete with a landing ship and a Learjet of a 35,000 square foot 24 run bungalow with an indoor pool and sauna and 5,000 horses. Your dream come of a tropical island paradise come true. Say aloha to your life in the city and say aloha to your new life in the sun. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. That last phrase is clever since aloha means hello and goodbye. Very ingenious of you, Walter. Well, contestant number two, it's your turn to bid first. Hopefully this prize is worth more to you than the last one. Maybe you can still walk out of here as something other than a loser, but I think it is doubtful. What's it worth to you? Owning an own private island would be nice, but does it have a church? A church? Who cares if it has a church? It's your own private island. Well, since I work, I can only go there on the weekends. And since I am at church on the weekends, it's not much worth to me. So <laughs> A church? Who cares if it has a church? It's your own island. <sighs> For an island? You gotta be kidding me. Just cause there's not a church? I bid one million dollars and my next two children and what have been their college funds. Well, contestant number one, it appears that the island is worth much more to you, and it's somewhere in there of 1.2 million, so item number two goes to you. Wow! Cont 
contestant number one, you're taking a commanding lead. And contestant number two, you could have a chance if you have priorities like a normal person, but you don't. You are a complete and total loser. Um, item number three, Walter. Next item up for bed is a unique, and beautiful, and astounding article. She cooks, she cleans, she does laundry, all while looking her best, so you have something to admire. <laughs> she does what you ask and look good, great on your arm at parties, to impress and cause envy on all your friends and co-workers. It's our lovely model, Sheena. Hey, you can't sell me! You should have read your contact track more closely, dear. No. Smile pretty for the camera! <laughs> she is quite a specimen. She can be my island and work party wife. My first wife can stay home and clean. My wife's just not the looker she once was. Sheena will give me some prestige. I bid 50,000. Why would I want another wife? I have a wife. She's right there in the audience. Hi, honey. I have no intention of keeping this woman, but I'm trying to save this from this man who's I already offered their children, so I offer $60,000. Well then, I am afraid that contestant number one has won Sheena also. Bible, Bible, Bible. Our last item for today is interesting. It has tremendous worth, but is one of the most readily available items today. Coming in many forms and translations, it is an antique book used with some passages marked. Covered in pure sheepskin leather, it is a copy of the Bible. Thank you, Walter and contestant number two. It's your turn to bid first, but since you are such a loser and have no chance of winning this game, I'm gonna let contestant one bid first. Contestant one, what's it worth to you? Thank you, Mr. Smiley. I'm not sure what to bid on this item. It's an antique. That's worth something, I guess. But to me, it's just worn and I don't know I'd much rather have a brand new Bible one in mint condition and I'd keep it that way also I don't know if I'd have much time to read it anyway with my new car island and so forth so for this antique I bid five hundred dollars <sighs> now contestant number two I don't even think it's worth my time <laughs> but here goes what's it worth to you Wow, Mr. Smiley, I just don't know how to measure this worth, because I can't believe someone would give this up. Whose Bible is this? Please continue, contestant number two. Well. Wait, the important is to me now, I mean, this Bible has all markings in it, so I don't want another one, so I bet $100. What? Well, contestant number two, you are the loser. You haven't even bid enough to win a Bible that you claim is precious to you. Don't you want to? Don't you want to have everything? It's about getting. It's about worth. You are a sad excuse for a consumer. You have my pity. I bid you farewell. Contestant number one, you are today's champion. You'll take home a new car, an island, a trophy wife, and a trophy life. Congratulations. We'll be coming to arrange payment options. Payment options? Of course. You didn't think all this was free, did you? We'll collect your firstborn next week. But congratulations on your victory! And to our audience, see you next time on What's the Work to You! You have just seen the story of a place where life is about getting and honor is seen as the size of your wallet. It's a place that will rust and decay, where your treasure will break and mold. It is where is this where you live? From where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Until we meet again in the chapel zone.